Paulo Nova. As a matter of fact, 95% of those circuit cutter switches installed without consultation are installed incorrectly and there's no benefit. Hi, welcome. I'm excited and delighted to share with you the new Trifield meter. The Trifield meter kind of has a special uh, spot in the heart of many uh, professionals in our, in our field, I have to say. Uh, one after the other has to admit that we all started with a little Trifield meter. Uh, the old model was you know, uh, always stood out, the, the needle to show us the magnetic fields. Um, we all knew that the magnetic fields was its claim to fame. Uh, it also had the electric fields and radio frequency radiation setting, or microwaves as it was called. Um, but it wasn't really quite sensitive enough in the opinion of, of those in environmental medicine. Um, so now very excited, we have a, a new trifield meter. The older model uh, will no longer be available. That's being phased out. Uh, and so it's uh, out with the old and in with the new. Now this, uh, this meter uh, is a little bit different. It's a little bit more costly. It has um, they've combined some features which uh, consumers have been asking for. So that's of course always to be applauded. Um, it'll be interesting to see um, how this performs. So we're gonna take it outside, go on a little field trip and take it to some locations measure some magnetic fields and compare this with the old model, uh, compare it with um, some of the more professional grade instruments like the HS, uh, UHS-2, also from Alpha Lab, kind of the big brother of this one, uh, which is dedicated just to magnetic fields. Very nice instrument. Here we've got um, some houses with along them running some local distribution lines, so things that you might uh, have running through your street. And so uh, let's take some Gauss meters out, including the TF2, and let's see how that house over there is affected by the magnetic fields from these local distribution lines that most people don't think twice about. Okay, here we are. Gonna have a look at this uh, house behind me, which is located just in front of these local distribution lines, these street power lines that uh, many of us are used to seeing in the street, and that you might even have in front of your house uh, or a house you're looking at moving into. So uh, I'm all strapped up. I've got my little GoPro uh, on my chest. I feel like an energetic sports person. <laughs> Not really. Um, so we're going to just cross the street and you'll be able to follow what uh, happens on these instruments. Okay, so um, walking underneath the local distribution lines, of course, we're going to have high readings. Now I've got in my hands the uh, TF2, which is uh, the latest model from Alpha Lab, and I've got their uh, kind of base professional meter, the uh, UHS2. So at the moment I'm kind of standing, let's say, in the front yard of this of this house. So let's have a look uh, what we can see. So on the UHS2 I've got about 6.2, nice steady reading. And the TF2 jumps around a little bit, but you've got that peak hold reading in the top corner. Now the peak hold holds on for a few seconds, so when you change position or when you walk somewhere, you've got to give it a couple of seconds for that to respond to that. But it seems to be steady at about an 8 milligauss reading, so it's reading a bit higher than the uh, more professional meter. Um, but that's not too bad, being that this is a layperson, amateur uh, person's instrument. Um, because it's one that you're really trying to avoid. So the news at this particular spot is the same, that the levels are way, way too high. So now I'm kind of in, in line with the very front of the house. So we've got about 2.9 milligauss on the UHS-2, and we've got about, um, what's that, 3.5, 3.4 on the TF-2. Okay, so now I'm kind of uh, in the in the lounge room at the front of the house, or perhaps that's already the master bedroom, as many homes have those at the front. So the UHS-2 gives us uh, 2.1, 2.5, and the TF-2 is coming closer now in agreeing with it. I think about 2.4, 2.5 at the peak uh, peak reading. 
Okay, now moving further back, now I'd definitely be in a bedroom. Looking at about uh, 1.9 TF2, saying 1.82 milligauss, thereabouts, 2.2. Now, above 2 milligauss is research in relation to melatonin and its natural anti-cancer action. 1.6 fertility studies showed uh, abnormalities um, in sperm cells. And uh, yeah, most of us in the holistic health field would interpret that as cellular change at 1.6. So here we are at 1.6. I'm nearly at the very back of the property, over, the, over that house on my left. So I've got 1.6 on the UHS-2. And 1.7, quite similar. So the news is, is very, very close. Now I'm at the very back of the actual building. 1.5 on the uh, UHS-2. And 1.5, 1.6 on the TF-2. So again, very comparable and so uh, for the price that this TF2 is, it's, uh, it's a good quality Gauss meter to make some decisions on whether or not you know, a property is uh, it's worthwhile staying for a long time. So I'm now moving further back, I'm looking at this building behind. So here we're just getting under that one threshold, 0 0.9, 0 0.9 on the TF2, so now they're very much agreeing with each other. And this is really the point where, you know, this is where you're being told something. You know, if it's higher than one, you would say, uh, probably not such a good idea. And in the bedroom, you want to have that, uh, that 0 0.3 ideally. You might not necessarily get there, but one you definitely want to stay away from. Um, so here, I hope you can see that with the light. 0 0.7 on the UHS-2. And about you know, 0 0.7, 0 0.8 on the TF2 as well. So as you can see, I got to move back quite a bit before I come into a zone where I say, awesome, great readings, congratulations. Um, I wouldn't say that to the people in the first two rows of this property. Okay, 1.7. A's and also the TF2 starting to agree after a few seconds. So you can see the difference between these two models. This one is far faster at calculating this reading for you because that's the thing with a triaxial meter. It takes three measurements at the same time and then applies a mathematical formula to actually give you the number that's on the display. And so you can tell when we make some movements when one needs to adjust. Um, that the uh, UHS-2 is far faster at that than the uh, TF-2. So you just have to take your time, take it easy with the TF-2, stand still in places, let it settle, and then read your number. Okay, 0 0.9, 0 0.9, agreeing very nicely with each other here. All right, but nothing uh, in terms of these properties, nothing to write home about. we go again back towards the first property 0 0.2 0 0.3 and similar reading on the TF2 over there a little smidge higher okay now with gauss meters triple x's gauss meters they take these three measurements that they need to recalculate so the one thing you can't do with them is this it's not a metal detector because now it has to recalculate the values of these three of these three sensors all the time and then it needs to settle and um, so you have to hold it facing in the same direction in space so let's say if you're aiming him let's say that is north you can walk in that direction and you get a good reading doing that you can't really do this i mean you can it just means all right now i've got to stop wait for it to settle and then i can continue so if, let's say if there, was a, if there was a couch in front of me over here and I want to measure the couch, you would hold that tri field meter, that gauss meter on the couch in whatever direction you're pointing it. And then you can go sideways along the couch, that's fine. 
because I'm not changing its orientation in space. But I can't do this over the couch. Now I'm changing my direction. Excellent. So I hope this little example uh, showed you a couple of things. It's not that difficult to use a, a Gauss meter. Um, if you are going to be purchasing a house, that's a big decision. You're going to be there a long time and it certainly costs a lot of money. Um, so the expense of a little amateur layperson, but relatively qualitative Gauss meter is a, a standard purchase you should consider um, when you're house hunting, renting or buying. I would have bet that most people wouldn't have thought twice about these local distribution lines, but I think it's safe to say that these two properties here, as well as the ones in line with those, um, are cop copying a lot of magnetic fields on the chin, let's say. And um, yeah, you really have to wonder if that's such a good decision to be there for a long period of time. Anyway, hope this uh, helped you. And um, if you're looking at purchasing a home, uh, myself and my consultants uh, are available with professional assessments. So uh, if you um, do an assessment with a simple meter, wonderful, you'll be able to read the bad houses from the good ones. And when you think you've got a winner, get a professional to come in um, and we can double check your work on the magnetic fields and we check the electric fields and the radio frequency radiation, which really you need a much higher caliber of equipment for to make uh, good decisions about. But those are normally easily fixed, normally. Um, so that's not a reason to walk away from a property. Magnetic fields are. Um, so anyway, hope this was beneficial and useful. And um, if we can assist you in any way, let us know.